Jeremiah 29, verse 11. For I know the plans that I have you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Greetings and welcome to our Advent Reflections for this first week of Advent, where we're lifting up the importance of hope at the welcome table. Now, this first candle of Advent on our Advent wreaths, which is often colored purple, is known as the Hope Candle. Some refer to it as the Prophecy Candle in remembrance of the prophets of old, like Jeremiah, who foretold about the coming and birth of Christ our Lord. Throughout the Old Testament, throughout thousands of years, people of faith have waited in anticipation for God's deliverance. And this candle, the Hope Candle, represents the fullness of all those expectations and anticipations of the coming Messiah. Even lighting the candle is an act of hope as it too drives out darkness. Expectations of hope can be powerful. And one of the most beloved Christmas carols that we sing is a little town of Bethlehem that sums up the importance in its own line. The hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. So what are your hopes and fears? You know, we originally had the idea of recording these Advent reflections from a different table that would reflect that theme for a given week. And I was thinking about the theme of hope and what table reflects a hope that we have. Actually, what I thought of was a doctor's examining table. Now, you might have a negative connotation with the doctor's office from a recent illness or a time that you went there and received bad news, but think about why we go to a physician. We are seeking hope that they might be able to heal us, that they might give us a pathway forward through a troubling time or an illness that we don't see any way out. Now, we might seem that a doctor's office isn't exactly filled with hope, but there's a whole lot of reasons why we go to places like this. It's a table like this, a table of hope, that we can find healing, we can find comfort, understanding answers, and a pathway out of our troubles. In the same way, many people come to this table, to Christ's table, for healing, for wholeness, and the hope that they too can find a pathway forward. Hope is what we actually bring to God's table. Hope that we will find God. Hope that we'll be made well. The hope that we'll find a place to belong and find the meaning for our lives. We seek hope here, and sometimes only God can deliver hope in our lives. That's why the Apostle Paul wrote in Romans 15, verse 13, May the God of hope fill you with a joy and a peace in believing so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Belief delivers hope. And the Holy Spirit gives us that power to believe that God can be faithful in all of his promises. A God who comes down time and time again into the messiness of our lives and delivers us healing. That is a God of hope. And once found, it becomes good news for all people. That's why in 1 Peter 3, verse 15, Paul also writes, Always be prepared to give the reason that you have for the hope that is within you. This really is our work. This is our Advent task, to be ready to answer why we have hope within us. Sometimes we sing it, sometimes we say it, we can even decorate it with it. One possible activity that you might take up as a family or a household or even an individual is to make a hope chain. It's simple, it's a child's craft and activity. Simply take a slip of paper, write a reason that you have hope or something that gives you hope or a hope that you have for this Advent season. And then loop the piece, slip of paper and staple it together and then keep stapling new ideas, new words or things that you see. You can decorate your home with it, your office, even your Christmas tree as a sign of the hope that you have this Advent. 
for those that, well, might be a little less crafty, another practice that you could take is to get a hope highlighter. And as you read the newspaper or a book, highlight words or stories that give you hope and purpose. Stories that shed light into your world. We always talk about how there's so much negativity in the world. Sometimes we need to highlight the hope so that it becomes real for us as it does for others. In this season, sometimes hope is what we bring to the table. And sometimes hope is what we find at the table that makes all the difference in our lives. And my hope is that the God of hope would fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that you might abide in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Happy Advent to you.